Welcome to our Fundamentals of Hardware and Software video presentation. This presentation was done by Janela, Anika, Tyrone, and Sai. A computer and what does it do? A computer describes a collection of hardware and software components that function together as a system. Here are some essential computer components. Computer case, the power supply, motherboard, input output port, hard disk controller, memory, video adapter, and central processing unit. The computer case. The computer case serves mainly as a way to physically mount and contain all the actual computer components inside. The case is needed for protection and keeping the area cool. Some examples of computer cases are the NZXT and Antec. The power supply. This is a component that is very vital to the operation of a computer. Without it, a computer is just a box full of plastic and metal. It converts the alternating current line from your home to the direct current needed by the personal computer. Motherboard A printed circuit board and foundation of a computer is called the motherboard. It is the biggest board in a computer chassis and it allocates power and allows communication to and between the CPU, RAM and all the other computer hardware components. Examples of motherboards are ATX, LPX and BTX. The hard disk, the hard drive disk controller. This is a circuit that allows the central processing unit to communicate with other computer disks, such as a floppy disk, hard disk, and some other type of hard disk drives. Input output port, also referred to as the I.O. address, I.O. address port, and I.O. port, it is the memory address that is used by software to communicate with hardware on your computer. Memory. This is any device that has the capability of storing information temporarily, similarly to RAM, or permanently, similarly to RAM. Video adapter. This is a board that is plugged into a personal computer to give it display capabilities. This, the display capabilities of a computer, depend on both the logic circuitry and the display monitor. The central processing unit, also known as the CPU, this is the brain of a computer. It handles all instructions that is received from hardware and software that is running on the computer. Data processing cycle. The data processing cycle is broken down into six simple steps. These steps are collection, preparation, input, processing, output, and storage. Collection. In order for there to be information, data must first be collected. Raw data can be gathered from multiple sources. Examples of such sources are website cookies, questionnaires and user behavior. Preparation. This data is now sorted and filed and filtered to remove any unnecessary details and checked for errors, miscalculation, duplication, etc. Input. The data is now sorted and then inputted into the computer by a means of a keyboard, scanner or any other input device. Processing. This step is done for data interpretation. The process is normally done by using machine learning algorithms and varies depending on the data and intended use of such data. Output. After the data is processed, it can now be turned into graphs, tables, audio and other documents 
for any use a person may see fit. Storage. The information can now be stored on a computer or any other storage device, a USB drive, hard drive, or CD, for example. This will enable an employee or a user of the information to access the information wherever and whenever they see it fit. Difference between application software, utility software, and operating system. Application software is used to complete a specific task for a specific environment. This can be a single program or it can be a collection of programs that work together to complete a task. This is called a software package. Utility software, however, is a type of application software. It supports the computer's structure and is designed to analyze, configure, optimize, and maintain a system. On the other hand, an operating system is a software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and it also provides common services for computer programs. Every electronic device that is used includes an operating system and it produces basic functionality for the device. Hello shows the difference between operating systems, software application, and utility software. Application software is developed using Java, Visual Basic, C, and C++. Utility software, however, is also developed using Java and JavaScript. Operating system is developed using C, C++, and assembly languages. The application software and utility software runs only when requested, and the operating system boots when the computer is booted. The application software cannot be installed without an operating system. A utility software comes pre-installed and the operating system comes pre-installed but a user can always change and install a different operating system. The application software helps to lower IT costs and improves employee productivity. The utility software helps to maintain the computer's operating system scan for viruses and clean the disks. Operating system is imperative to ensure the proper functioning of a computer. Examples of application software are multimedia tools and database management systems. Examples of utility software are Avast antivirus, disk tools and backup software. Examples of an operating system are Windows, Unix, Linux, and DOS. Installing a new operating system. People may feel the need to install a new OS for a variety of reasons. Such reasons can be the operating system was lost or corrupted. They will like to experiment with dual booting. It is time for an upgrade or they are simply switching from their current operating system to another. Here are the steps to follow when it comes to installing and configuring a new operating system. First, you set up the display environment. Next, erase the primary boot disk. Third, set up the BIOS. Fourth, install the operating system. Fifth, configure your server for RAID. And last, Install OS update drivers and run operating system updates. Putting various software on your personal computer. One of the most common ways that we download software is directly from the web. Here are the steps that are taken to download software this way. First, you locate and download the .exe file. Second, you locate and double-click the .exe file. This file will most likely be saved in your Downloads folder. Fourth, a dialog box will appear. Please follow the instructions stated to install the software. Fifth, 
The software will then be installed and can be found on the start menu or on your start screen. Step to downloading various software on your PC from the Microsoft Store. If you are operating on a Windows operating system, you can use the Microsoft Store to download your software. Steps Go to the store, search for the software that you would like, select Get, and the installation process will begin. You will be notified when the process is completed and now will be able to run the software. Of our presentation and here are the references.